In the summer, the work crews cut the long grass along the tracks, raking it into heaps to dry in the sun. At this time of year, Percy stops where they have been cutting. The men load up his empty wagons and he pulls them to the station. Toby then takes them to the hills for the farmers to feed their stock. ghostly whistle. Don't be frightened, Thomas, he laughed. It's only me. Your ugly fizz is enough to frighten anyone, said Thomas. You're like ugly indeed. I'm green caterpillar with red stripes, continued Thomas firmly. You crawl like one too. I don't. Who's been late every afternoon this week? It's the hay. I can't help that, said Thomas. Time's time, and Sir Topham Hat relies on me to keep it. I can't if you crawl in the hay till all hours. Green caterpillar indeed, fumed Percy, as he set off to collect some hay to take to the harbor. Everyone says I'm handsome, or at least nearly everyone. Anyway, my curves are better than Thomas's corner. Thomas says I'm always late, he grumbled. I'm never late. Or at least only a few minutes. What's that to Thomas? He can always catch up time further on. All the same, he and his driver decided to start home early. Then came trouble. <laughs> It's worth being late to have seen you. When Percy got home, his driver showed him what he looked like in a mirror. Bust my buffers. No wonder they all laughed. I'm just like a woolly bear. Please clean me before Toby comes. But it was no good. Thomas told Toby all about it. Instead of talking about sensible things like playing ghosts, Thomas and Toby made jokes about woolly bear caterpillars and other creatures which crawl about in hay. They laughed a lot. But Percy thought they were really being very silly indeed. 